Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I am bringing to you a Dollar Tree laundry room DIY that is so rustic, I can hardly stand it, and the outcome is amazing. This is one of my favorite laundry room DIYs because of the simplicity of it and because it is one that you can do using almost 100% Dollar Tree items. And you all really seem to like those, and so those are more DIYs that I'm going to be incorporating into my channel. And so I'm excited to show you today's DIY. It's quick, it's easy, it's budget friendly. And did I say it has a really rustic outcome? Because it does. I'm gonna quit my gabbin. Let's jump into it and let's do some DIYing on a budget. Cause why not? That's what we all like, right? Right, let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Alrighty, so getting started, for today's DIY, I'm going to be using two packs of these wood planks by Crafter Square, six come in a pack. I'm going to start off by putting four of them together, just like you see me doing here. Then using some jumbo popsicle sticks, and here, yes, I am showing the Crafter Square wood glue. Please ignore that. I don't know why I was using it in this DIY. It might have been the only glue that I had, but it is not my favorite. I say go with the super glue, wood glue that you can get in the tool section, or even a Lean's glue is a better option. I'm gonna use these popsicle sticks to actually glue all four of these planks together. Now, if you can find a plaque at Dollar Tree that's a good size, I'd say go with that, and then you're gonna save yourself using some of the planks. I didn't have any plaques on hand, and so when that happens, I just dig into my stash and see what I have and I make it work and that's what we're doing here. I headed on over to Hobby Lobby to their open stock scrapbooking paper and I picked up a couple sheets of this wood paper, loving it. On the four planks that I glued together, I'm gonna put a healthy amount of Mod Podge on here because once I cover these with Mod Podge, I'm gonna take the scrapbooking paper, yep, and I'm gonna cover the front of them. This is just an alternative to painting. If you want to paint it and you can make it look like wood, I say do it. But you know what? For 20 cents, 25 cents, this is going to work. It's quicker. It's easier. It's budget friendly. And yeah, did I say it's quicker? Because I'm impatient. When I place the first sheet down, obviously it is not big enough to cover all four of them. So that is why I got a second sheet. So that way I can place the second sheet on the area that isn't covered and my lines will still match up. If you don't mind the lines not matching up, you can use the bottom half of this paper, but yeah, once I see something that doesn't line up like that, I can't unsee it, so I just went with two sheets. And then save those scraps, because they're big. Once the paper and the Mod Podge are good and dry, and you are gonna wanna wait for it to dry because the paper will snag and rip and crinkle up, you can go ahead and flip it over and just by taking a razor or a cutter of some sort and just using the plaques as a guide, you're gonna cut off that excess paper and you're gonna get a nice clean edge. We're gonna flip the plaques back over to the paper side and apply a second coat of Mod Podge. And this is just to really seal it and really adhere it onto those plaques. Now you can see that I too get the wrinkles in my paper when applying it to a surface like wood. It does happen, but if you just keep working over those wrinkles, either with your finger or the brush in which that you use to apply the Mod Podge with, they will smooth out for the most part. For this DIY, I'm not really worried about it because this is a rustic, rustic, ah, spit it out, Kelly. This is a rustic DIY. And so I feel like it's just gonna add to the character of the DIY, give it a bit of personality. The more imperfect your DIY is, sometimes it just makes it even more perfect. I'm also gonna be using five more of the planks. So we've got two packs. You're gonna have maybe two planks left at the end of this DIY. So really just keep your eye open for them. 
I'm gonna give these a good coat of Mod Podge and using my scrap paper, I'm gonna flip it face side down and I'm gonna take my planks and I'm gonna cover them with the paper as well. It's easier just to set the planks down on the paper with working with the individual ones rather than placing the paper on top of it because I really wanted to get the most out of my paper. And so, yeah, you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna cover all five of them. I'm gonna cut off the excess paper like I did before and apply a second coat of Mod Podge. Hands down, Dollar Tree has the best wall decor decal stickers ever. Love this laundry room one. So with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put laundry room on the larger plaque that I made. And on each individual one, I thought it would be fun to add a different rule to each of them. Now, if you wanna put this all on one plaque, I say do it if that's what you'd like, but I wanted to give this a bit of character. I wanted something a bit different than just a simple plaque. And by adding the individual planks to it and putting a rule on each of them, I feel like it gives it personality. It makes it more of a decor piece other than just a wall decor plaque that you made and you're hanging up. So guess what? If you can't find these wall decals at Dollar Tree, Linda has designed some that are very similar that are available in her Etsy store for instant digital download for $2, or you can have her cut and send you the vinyl decals with free shipping for the price of $6. You can find the link to Linda's Etsy store, guess where? Mm-hmm, in the description box below. How am I gonna attach all these plaques together? Yep, using some of Dollar Tree's decorative nautical rope, the thinner one that is. I'm gonna start off with the top plaque, and I did a bit of a longer rope. Don't ask me how long it was, because I really don't know, but I just kind of found the center by, I guess, finding the middle part of it by putting the two ends together, and the middle part of the rope is gonna go at the top, so that way, I guess, my tails on each side that are hanging down off the plaque are going to be even. I'm gonna use this rope to attach mm -hmm, all of the planks together. And so by hot gluing it to the top here, once I've got it glued to the top, those ropes are gonna angle in and then they are going to attach to each of the five planks that the laundry room rolls are on. How easy is that? And when you flip it over, look at how cool that looks. Now this is a versatile piece. If you think that the wood paper is too dark and you wanna go with lighter, go with lighter. If you wanna go with floral, go with floral, I say. I felt like this needed a pop of color. So using some of these lamb ears from Walmart, I went ahead and cut a few of the leaves off, I think three to be exact. And I'm just gonna put them up here at the corner. I feel like this is such a subtle piece. I don't wanna take away from it, but it does need a bit of color, subtle color. And so that's why I'm going with these lighter greens. I'm also gonna be using these floral bunches. Oh, I thought these were from Dollar Tree. They are not, they are from Walmart. It says mainstays. Again, Walmart has great floral bunches. If you're not seeing great ones at Dollar Tree, go to Walmart. I'm gonna disassemble this, add a couple, of the purples and pinks to it. And I figured I'd finish it off with a pom-pom ball in the middle because I didn't have any cotton. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? Yep, it's going out to Carolyn Ashmore Cherry, who is bringing to us this amazing Fourth of July Americana themed Jenga blocks coasters. Amazing, nicely done, Carolyn. Thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. I told you it was rustic and the outcome is amazing. I love DIYs like this. Now, keep in mind that this is a versatile DIY. So if it doesn't suit your decor just by changing up the paper and maybe the color scheme, you can very easily do it to suit your decor because that really is what DIYing is all about. You take what you like and you leave what you don't and you get creative and you make it your own. I hope you all enjoyed today's Dollar Tree Laundry Room DIY. Please make sure to give this video mm -hmm, a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and the comments that you do leave down below 
They really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive and bye for now, everybody.